Hey, what is up guys? It is poor Master Evan here. In this one, it is the Suicide Squad. Um, I just got finished recording the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer reaction and semi-analysis. Uh, I started editing that and I got the notification that the Suicide Squad roll call and the Suicide Squad exclusive sneak peek was up as well. So, instead of doing it in two separate videos, I'm just going to do I'm gonna react to both the roll call and the sneak peek in this one so that we have both Suicide Squad things in just one video this will be a little bit longer than normal but anyways let's get into it I'm really excited to see what the characters will all look like um hopefully some of them look good fingers crossed James Gunn did just spiking shark <laughs> but anyways here we go guys three two one here we go I love that logo. You know the deal. Successfully complete okay. the mission. You get 10 that years off your sentence. Okay. Welcome to Ask Sports X. These are your oh brothers my. and sisters for the next few days. <laughs> Michael Rooker. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that looks so good! Her costume looks so good. <laughs> Poke it up, man. <laughs> okay. Rat catcher? Interesting. Hey, Idris Elba. Oh, I love that mask. Yes! <laughs> he looks so good! He looks so good! Thinker. Okay. Who's he playing? Blackguard? Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Hey, Captain Boomerang. Looking good. John Cena. Peacemaker, okay. Oh, that logo. Tiger Ratiti's in this? Who's he playing? Wait. Oh, is Taika gonna be King Shark? Oh my gosh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I didn't even notice if like his name was there. Because if they didn't put an actor's name for him, that must mean... Oh my gosh, if Taika Waititi is King Shark, that's gonna be the best thing ever. He did such a good job as Korg in Thor Ragnarok. I, got, I gotta re-look back at... um. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's like a mix of the... Uh, DC TV's um, Harley Quinn version of King Shark, who's a little bit chubbier, and a mix of the CW um, King Shark that's a lot more muscular. That's really good. Now, compared to um, that disaster of a Suicide Squad film from a couple years ago, um, where they used Killer Croc, which I was really excited for because King Shark and Killer Croc are two of my favorite characters from the DC Universe. And I was like, really? So I'm like, yes, Killer Croc is going to the big screen. And then he looked terrible. And it's no offense to the actor, it's just that makeup was god-awful. Like, they should have just done CGI like this. This looks so much better. King Shark looks so good in this. I, I gotta re-look at Harley Quinn's costume. That looks so nice. Wow. That is like, that is the best costume she she's had so far for the dceu she's donning the nice the classic red and black look to her with the jack and everything from like the comics and stuff that looks so good that is that is the best costume design they've used yet for her james gunn perfect that looks so good now i want to see this obscure character weasel again who's he played by <laughs> He's played by Sh he's played by Sean Gunn. How did it, how did I not see that? This isn't much of a step up from being the mocap of Rocket Raccoon, but uh, 
oh, this character is going to be so obscure and so weird, and I'm going to probably laugh my butt off watching this character on screen. But honestly, the, the, the amount of characters that are going to be in this film, and a lot of them being very obscure and not very well known, is that's like that's what James Gunn does. Like, he took a chance when he did Guardians of the Galaxy, and like the Guardians weren't very well known at the time, and now they're some of the most popular characters in the Marvel Universe. And I'm pretty sure after this Suicide Squad film comes out, a lot of these characters will have, will be a lot more popular than they already are today. Especially King Shark. I hope he gets a lot more appreciation. Um, maybe even Weasels. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, let's, I'll stop talking and we'll get to the Suicide Squad sneak peek. I completely forgot that we have that one as well to watch. So without further ado, let's watch the sneak peek. Three, two, one, here we go. I think it's gonna surprise people. Oh wow, it's all the behind the scenes. How did they do that? It's gonna be different from any superhero movie ever made. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's cool. There's no one better that's in the cool. world to direct the Suicide Squad. Oh, that was so cool, the lineup. Gunn. Exactly. I was excited with an opportunity to be able to do the Suicide like Squad the in the way it could be done from my point of view. This one is completely unique. This is a gritty 1970s war movie combined with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. You need to direct that sounds amazing. Oh, the wow. Suicide Squad is just a twisted fantasy of characters. Within oh, each wow. of our characters, there's a certain beauty. With the most Whoa, of them. Okay. Some of them are just pretty crappy <laughs> through and through. We Weasel's a uh, little creepy. Douchey Captain America. <laughs> the guy who believes in <laughs> peace Douchey at Captain any cost, America. no matter how many people he needs to kill oh, along the way. Funny. Okay, I got it. Don't ever settle back like you think you know where this is going, because you don't. As soon as you have some sense about what's about to happen next, James comes in. Oh. Everyone's exploding, genitals, heads, arms, legs. It's like a big, massive graphic novel brought to life. Wow, wow, this is that looks so good. far the biggest good. movie I've ever made. I don't think that you know what to expect. Oh, King Shark in action. Don't get too attached. This has been truly the greatest, okay. most exciting journey of my life making this film. That, that was great. Only in theaters 2021. Hopefully it's early 2021 so I can go see it before COVID gets bad again. <laughs> all right, I need I need to go back. I need to see I need to see that shot of all of the characters standing there because I did see that mocap suit for for King Shark and if that's Taika standing in the suit, I'm going to lose it. Or was that? That was like... Okay. Okay, that's not Taika in that suit. I'm really interested though. Who is Taika gonna play? Honestly, I think that's just the guy that's using the mocap, but... Here's to hoping Taika Waititi is King Shark. It's, it's probably not confirmed whatsoever, but I'm kind of hoping that's the case because he doesn't show up in any of the roster of the lineup for the roll call, and they didn't put an actor's name down for King Shark, so Taika could be him. I could be wrong. I could be going completely far-fetched, but if Taika is King Shark, that is going to be the best incarnate, the best, in yeah, best incarnation of King Shark yet. And I'm gonna laugh my butt off watching him on screen. And there and there was a scene where he ate a guy too, actually. It's so hard to look through this because there's like so much action. But they did show that one set piece of like it being on like a kind of beachy area with like all the trees and stuff. I have a feeling that'll be the final battle. If that's not like the final like battle scene that most superhero movies have, that'll probably maybe be like a mission in the beginning of the movie I would think because they showed that a lot throughout this sneak peek and usually that means that it's like gonna be a big scene either in the end or like maybe the middle depending I don't know but that was a really nice looked like a very very nice set piece these characters look so obscure but seeing Harley Quinn in action seeing that really like short 
clip of Weasel licking the glass that was really, really weird. <laughs> That's like the only way to put it. It was really weird. Um, King Shark eating the guy like was so fast, but like the CGI looked really good on him, like grabbing the guy and just sticking him in. Um, Polka Dot Man in action, stuff like that. <laughs> the the dou douchey Captain America. <laughs> that uh, John Cena will play. I'll be very interested to see how he turns out. Um, but yeah, guys, comment down below. What do you guys think? Are you excited for this suicide, this new Suicide Squad that James Gunn is directing? I think it's going to be amazing. I've had faith in this, and I've been really excited to see the trailer and everything that I have just reacted to today. Um, I have a feeling this movie will be really good if, since it's being directed by James Gunn, I'm pretty sure it's going to have that comedic humor but that action and that suspense and stuff as well so i'm definitely excited for this film comment down below if you're excited for it what's your favorite character out of this really obscure cast for me it's definitely um harley quinn i want to see her journey in this more so uh how it was in birds of prey and stuff like that if this is like later on after this is completely separated from the main timeline or how the timeline works now um i'm really excited to see king shark for sure King Shark is like one of the um, more so interesting characters. I want to see how they play him out in this film. Um, but yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. I will hopefully have a video for the Snyder Cut sneak peek later tonight, um, as well as possibly Robert Pattinson's The Batman. Um, but like I said, if Warner Brothers copyright claims this and stuff like that or it gets like blocked in all countries or something like that, I'll delete it. I'll re-upload it. Um, without the actual video but like a picture so it'll still be my reaction video it's just we won't have the trailer due to uh copyright strikes or copyright claims or them just straight up blocking it um but that's pretty much it guys this has been poor master evan i'll have a lot more coming and i'll check you guys later peace